Meanwhile, baseball, softball, lacrosse, tennis, golf, just a few of the several spring sports canceled by the NCAA last month for this year. For some seniors who spent as many as four years preparing for their final season, well, it's been depressing. As Nathan Epstein reports tonight, it's also complicated. Stripped of their final year in a college uniform because of COVID-19, spring sports seniors received some good news on Monday. Everybody that, that is a spring sport athlete will receive their year back, as, almost as if nothing happened. Sam Perelman, a former Old Dominion tennis player, is vice chair of the NCAA's Student Athletic Advisory Committee. He adds while seniors on scholarship may choose to return, they may not receive their full scholarship allotment. They will have the opportunity to receive up to the scholarship that they had this, this year, this season. Um, it could be less, but it could be up to that number without it counting toward their team scholarship um, numbers. With all athletes, freshmen through senior allowed an extra year of eligibility. Roster totals and scholarship dollars may go up, but not the school's overall athletic budget. An unnamed AD shared with me if all of his or her seniors returned next year and he paid what they had this year in scholarship, he's looking at an extra five hundred to $550,000 on his budget. It's good for college baseball. I mean. The talent level is going to be uh, up. The Old Dominion baseball team only has two seniors on scholarship. Kyle Battle and Dominique Claxton both intend to come back. Other programs have tougher decisions to make. Some programs may have so many that they have to cut some incoming freshmen. But the, the ones that have been signing 20 kids a year, uh, the bills come due now, and so they're going to really have to figure this out, not just this year, but next year and the next year. The NCAA's simple decision may not come with such a simple solution. With the Sports Wrap, I'm Nathan Epstein.